In this video, we will take a look at creating a false gable using the manual roof tools. Let's begin the process in the roof plan view. With the manual roof tool, I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick up the snap point on the pop out gable on the left hand side of the house. I'm going to left click and slide my mouse up. I'll release my left mouse button and click over until I hit the hip ridge for the roof. I'll go ahead and click to place the roof panel, then press the spacebar to get out of roof plane mode, select the corner edge, and I'll go ahead and snap it onto the hip ridge. Now that I have the initial roof plane created, I'm going to use the copy and reflect about tool, pick up the center of the roof plane we just created, click to place, and create the false roof planes. To create the wall for the gable, I'm going to move up into the attic. I'm going to toggle on reference display. You can do that through F9 on the keyboard. There is also a tool, at least in my case, on the far right hand side. This will turn on the reference display. If you don't see the roof planes in your view, come up to the floor indicator. Click on the floor indicator. You can see the reference display set is being used. You can click on the define button. Inside of the reference display, search for roof planes. When you find the particular layer, make sure that you turn that layer on. That way you will see the roof planes being displayed when you toggle on reference display. With the roof planes turned on, let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to use the wall tool, exterior wall, and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to click just inside the roof plane and I'm going to click and drag to the other edge. The program is going to notify me that I'm drawing a wall on the attic floor, probably meant for the first floor. Go ahead and say OK. And I'm going to go ahead and double click to open up that wall. On the roof panel, I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose the option to have the roof cuts wall at bottom. You see that the roof now trims off the wall and we have our false gable on top of the roof. Let's go ahead and rotate around in the 3D view. And let's take a look at creating one more on the back side of the house. Go ahead and zoom out. Go back down to the floor one. I'm going to take and place a false gable somewhere right in this area. And we'll look at just creating a free floating false gable arbitrarily on this roof panel. In our floor plan view, come up into our roof tools. And specifically, I want to use the roof plane tool. I'm going to come over. I'm going to click and drag. So I'm going to hold my left mouse button down, release the left mouse button, come over and click to place the first roof plane. I'll press the space bar to be out of roof mode, then click on the corner, pull that over until it snaps onto the edge. To be sure the elevation of the new roof plane intersects to the larger roof plane, I'm going to let the program figure out where that intersection point is. You can turn this intersection point on in your preferences. Underneath the preferences, on the architectural panel in the roof section, is the option to automatically place roof intersection points. Now that that's turned on, I'm going to click on the larger roof plane and then click on the smaller roof plane. And as I zoom in, you can see the projection point. I'm going to pull the roof plane until it snaps onto the temporary CAD point. I'm going to use the copy tool and reflect it around the existing roof plane. That generates our gable. And then to repeat the process to draw the wall up in the attic, toggle on F9 to see the roof planes, use the wall tool, click and drag just inside of the roof planes. Program's going to notify us. Typically, you draw the walls on the first floor or on the main floor that you're working with. We'll go ahead and say OK. Double click on the wall itself. And then we're going to check roof cuts wall at bottom. And now you can see we've generated the small gable on the back and then the larger false gable on the front. To remove your temporary CAD points in your floor plan view, click on the points tool. Towards the bottom is the option to delete your temporary points. And then you can return to the preferences and turn off the intersecting points projection when you're finished with your roof editing. To learn more about roofs, see our other videos and our built-in help file. Thanks for watching.